Hello there, my HQTs. It's Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling great, actually, because it's officially the start of Memorial Day weekend, and we've got some fun in store for you guys and a brand spanking new way of doing things around these parts. Now, talking of new, the filmmakers behind the Sonic movie have delayed the film's release because they're reworking the hedgehog. Yes, ditch the fur and the humanoid teeth this time, please. That was nightmarish. Let's keep things speedy tonight. How fast do you ask? Well, fast enough to break through a brick wall. Just like that. Hello, I'm Sharon Carpenter, your quick fast presenter at your phone's epicenter, and this is HQ Trivia, where what you know will score you some dough. That's right, and we are into season four, players. This is super exciting. We have a new feature that was just released yesterday. Last season, thousands of you earned billions of points. Those points helped you level up, and levels got you to that season three grand prize, right? What level did you get to last season? Tell me in the chat right now. Season four means a clean slate, of course. All your levels and points have now been reset. Okay, now let me break down the cool new rules for you. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. You have 10 seconds to tap that answer. If you get it right, you move on. If you get question nine correct, you'll have the chance to win a cash prize or keep playing for the jackpot. Same with Q12. Q15, 18, and 21. You see the pattern here. More prizes, more winning, more paper that we're giving out tonight. And today we are giving away a whopping $15,000. It's the kind of cash that will make you scream with joy in a really high-pitched voice because you're super excited over it, right? You know the voice I'm talking about. Now this week, here's some of the fun we have in store for you. Monday, you know the plan already. It's movie night. Grab your popcorn and your soda or water if you want the healthy but boring option. And the fun starts at 9 p.m. Eastern, of course, on Monday. Then Thursday, warm up your vocal cords, everyone, because it's Songs of the Summer Night here at HQ. That's at 9 p.m. too. What's your favorite summer anthem? Let me know right now in the chat. Is it Will Smith's Summertime? That's an obvious one, isn't it? Now remember, don't get caught on a savage question without an extra life. You don't want that. You can now use multiple extra lives to win, up to three in a single game. Buy one right now if you see it on your screen. You can only buy them once per game, remember. But again, use up to three of them. Use them on any round, but not on prize questions. And not after Q14. Cool? Cool. All right, check this out. Bring him in for a beer. Godzilla, rated PG-13. Experience it in IMAX May 31st. So, what are your plans for Memorial Day weekend? Anyone going to check out Aladdin or did you see it last night? Some of you did. They raked in $7 million and I'm going to check it out. Can't wait to see Will Smith as the genie. I have a couple of questions for you. Let's run a poll right now. Who do you think is the best Disney sidekick out of these guys? Is it Genie? Flounder or Zazu? I want to hear your opinions. The best Disney sidekick, Genie, of course, from Aladdin, Flounder from The Little Mermaid, and Zazu from my favorite, The Lion King. Can't wait to see the live action adaptation of that. And it looks like Genie. Genie was the favorite there with 54% of you. Not a lot of you like Zazu, just 18%. Here's another one for you right now. What iconic role should Will Smith reboot next? Robin Hood, Gordon Gecko, or Maverick? Gordon Gecko, of course, from Wall Street. Maverick, the TV show, and then the movie. It's played by Mel Gibson. Which one should he reboot? He could do anything. It's Will Smith, right? 42% of you think Maverick. That is really interesting. Only 38% think Robin Hood. I would have gone for Robin Hood myself. We've got a few seconds left. Let's count it down. Nine, eight, seven. All right, players, 
is time. Time to get to the quizzing and win some money. Here we go with Q1. Let's do it. Which vehicle typically carries the most passengers? Tandem bicycle, tricycle, unicycle. Hyper furry. Come on, myself. If these are the options. If you went for unicycle, you're on your own here. Two is better than one, unless you're not working in tandem. Tandem bicycle is what we are talking about here. 209,000 of you pedaling forwards. A tandem has double the pedaling power until your partner gets lazy, that is. And then you have to do double the work. No fair. Now, you all want to level up as high as you can this season, don't you? And of course, we're here to help. You can buy points multipliers if you can see it on your screen right now. The more points you earn, the higher your level. The higher your level, the better chance you have of winning the season four finale and all the other games as well with a ton of cash at stake. All right, Q2. Finish the classic saying, a friend in need, what? Will not succeed, has too much greed, is a friend indeed. What kind of friend are you? We're about to find out. If you tapped on, it will not succeed. It looks like you didn't either. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Of course, 230,000 of you are pretty friendly tonight. The saying is kind of confusing though. Does it mean a friend when you're in need is indeed a good friend? Or could it mean people become extra friendly when they need you? Hmm, something to ponder. Q3. Grammatically speaking, what is the object in the sentence? The runner won the race. Race, won, or runner? Which one's the object here? Remember this from school days? You all want to win tonight, don't you? But if you went for one, you just lost. The object here is race. Running that race, 120,000 of you running on was, my goodness, that was a brutal question, wasn't it? Half of you down. Now the object receives the action of the verb in the sentence, the verb here is win, and that race received it like a true champ. And we are racing onwards. Use your extra lives right now, please. Q4, which of these planets has an ice giant? Mars, Neptune, Jupiter. Ooh, that sounds pretty chilly. Sounds a little too cold for me. An ice giant. There are actually two ice giants in our solar system. Uranus and Neptune. That's what I was looking for. 110,000 of you shooting for the stars. Mars is shaping up to be hospitable to humans, but what about Neptune? You'd need some thigh high boots for that slush on the surface and dress warm because it's minus 353 degrees Fahrenheit. What? No oh, thanks. Q5. According to the pet section of WebMD, which of these should not be fed to a dog? Chicken, grapes, banana. Don't feed this to your doggy, all right? Don't feed it to Max. Your canine companion would be miserable without chicken, but he'd be a lot more miserable with grapes. Don't do it, people, like ever. 99,000 of you grappling with that one. Grapes are terrible for your pooch. They're toxic and can give him kidney failure. Yeah, raisins are bad too, but apparently bananas are not banned. Interesting stuff. Q6. Which of these English men was offered knighthood but declined it? David Bowie, Mick Jagger, or Freddie Mercury? Say no to being a knight. Thanks, but no thanks, he said. You tapped on Freddie Mercury, another one bites the dust. He's always been a rebel, rebel. Bowie, David Bowie, take a bow if you got that one correct. 43,000 of you did. Should we go with a savage? Let's do it. There's a savage question right here. 55,000 of you gone, 43,000 still in the game. Now, this was the second time the Queen had hoped to honor David Bowie, and the second time he told Lizzie where to stick it, like a true gentleman. Q7, which action is not allowed by the rules of Jenga? Top an incomplete level, switch hands mid-turn, or hunt for loose blocks. Most frustrating game ever. We have it here in the HQ office. It's the best game ever until your hard work comes crashing down around you. We've all been there. Nothing tops finding those loose bricks, but you can't top an incomplete level. Nah, you'll be out of the game. That was another toughie. 26,000 of you made it through. An adult version of the game was introduced. Jenga truth or dare, resulting in thousands of regrettable actions for years and years to come. I should know. I played it. 
Q8. Which South American nation is named for a place in Europe? Venezuela, Suriname, Peru. Place in Europe? I'm from Europe. But it might not be from the place I'm from. If you went for Suriname, it's too late to say sorry, ma'am. The cheapest place to fill your tank. Venezuela is the country we're talking about. 22,000 of you traveling forwards. An Italian navigator named the region Little Venice, aka Venezuela. Just don't expect any gondolas. Okay, coming up next is our first prize question. This is big, guys. Remember, if you get this question right, you have the choice to either take the money or keep moving forwards towards that 15K jackpot. Are you ready? Good. Good luck, players. Here's Q9. Which of these home improvement words is a registered trademark? Spackle, concrete, or grouts? I need someone to improve my home. Please. It ain't champagne if it's not from Champagne, France. And it's not spackle if it's not by the Moralo Company in New Jersey. Spackle is the answer. We're, oh my goodness, that was a rough one, and it is decision time. Only 3,138 of you got that one correct here on Q9. We, right now, are offering $1.28 to 3,138 players. Will you take the cash and run? Are you gonna stick around in the hopes of reaching the big one? 1,595 players chose to take $1.28 since you are winners tonight, yeah, you are 1,595 HQ winners so far. The rest of you, come with me. We're on to Q10. This video was sponsored by a maker of what? This vid right here. Remember that? Paper, printers, or ink that's sponsored. That fit, the maker of paper, printers, or ink. A lot going on in that video. A scary amount of all three got used in this vid, winning any game of rock, paper, scissors, right? Paper. Paper is what we're talking about. Oh my goodness, 246 of you are all about that paper tonight. I can't believe we're down to 246 already. Some of you have extra lives though. The Video Obsession by OK Go claimed the paper was recycled and proceeds given to Greenpeace and it was all made possible by Double A's Smooth Paper. That was smooth. So is this, Q11. A thousands year old temple to whom now stands several hundred feet from its original location. Amenhotep II, Thutmose II, or Ramses II? Now, it didn't pick up and move by itself, did it? it? Took a huge engineering project to do the job moving the temple of Ramses II is what we were looking for here. 411 of you, a bunch of you back in the game, good for you. Now in 1968, Egypt built a dam on the Nile, dodging flood danger. The temple was moved to higher ground. That's where we're going right now, because it's time for our next prize question. Money is at stake, people. Are you ready? Q12. Which of these stars has received Oscar nominations in the greatest number of different categories? Clint Eastwood, Barbara Streisand, or George Clooney? Money is up for grabs on this one if you get this right. Best actor, supporting actor, director, and more is gorgeous George. George Clooney is who we are talking about. 106 of you got that correct now. You face a tough dilemma right now. Do you take the cash and split or do you stick with it? 106 players left in the game. We are offering $18.87 to 106 players. That is a nice chunk of change. Do you take that $18.87 or are you after that $15,000 jackpot? 58 players taking the $18.87, 58 winners right here on this question. Well done to all of you. All right, rest of you, let's do it, Q13. Which of these is not an official language of the United Nations? Russian, Hindi, Arabic. Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? There are only six official languages of the UN, but which of these didn't make it in Hindi from India? 
That's the language. 34 of you knew that. All right, the languages of the United Nations are Arabic, Russian, Chinese, English, French, and Spanish, and I can barely even speak one of them, maybe a tad of French on a good day. Remember, guys, it's your last chance right now to use your extra lives. They will not work after Q14. Take a deep breath, because here goes. Archimedes reportedly said he could move the earth, given a place to stand on what tool? Wedge, lever, rope. Well, he was pretty confident, wasn't he? We've heard of moving mountains, but this guy wanted to move the entire earth with a place to stand on a lever. He wanted a lever to do the job. 36 of you knew that. It may take a little more equipment to move the earth, though. You'd need at least a fulcrum to go with that lever. And it's time to move some cash, because it's our next prize question. More money up for grabs on this one. More choices to make if you get it correct. Q15. Which of these US vice presidents was elected to that office? John Breckenridge, Nelson Rockefeller, or Gerald Ford? It's a big one right here. We gave away $18 the last time. What will it be on this one? Two of these VPs took the shortcut. Well, one was actually elected by the people. John Breckenridge. That's who. Who do you think? Okay, 24 of you got it right, and it's money time. This time, how much do we have in the bag for you? What are we giving away? We are giving away $250 to 24 players. What's it gonna be? 250, or are you gonna go for the 15 thou? Will you get there? 21 players chose to take the two 50. That means just a few of you left now in the game. 21 of you winners tonight, taking home $250. That is epic money right there. Q16, just a couple of people left. The painter of this piece once returned a commission from what pretentious client? Famous singer, fancy restaurant, business tycoon. This piece right here. Yeah, which pretentious client? Famous singer, fancy restaurant, or business tycoon. He was like, nah, here, have the money back. Some things are just not worth the money, right? He could have gotten paid by the Four Seasons. It's a fancy restaurant. Are you gobbling that one up? Two of you got it correct. Both of you got it correct. Well done to you. You've got me sweating over here. Now, the artist behind it was Mark Rothko. Instead of giving in to his pretentious clients, he gave the painting to the Tate. Instead, take that, Four Seasons. Two players left in the game. Everything is riding on you guys right now. Q17. Which of these African nations was not independent at the start of the 20th century? Liberia, Ethiopia, South Africa. Show them some love in the chat right now, guys. They've made it all the way to Q17. Keep your fingers crossed for them. If you went for Liberia, you lied. Home of Mandela. We're talking South Africa right here. Fingers crossed tightly. Both of you got it correct, you smarty pants. Well done, yeah. South Africa got partial independence in 1910 and full independence 41 years later. Can you hear something? That's money calling and our next prize question coming at you. So tap well, players. Two of you, we are rooting for you. There's gonna be big cash up for grabs if you get this correct. Q18, what would you likely have done at a Japanese mimikaki salon? Cleaning, attaching, or straightening? Hopefully you've been to one of these on your travels. Two players left. It's a big thing in Japan. Pay your money, lay down, and let someone dig in your ear to clean it. We're talking cleaning here, people. Did you get it correct? Both of you got that one correct as well. You are killing the game right now. Well done. We're giving out more money right now. How much do we have available? 2,500. That's what we are offering you two players right now. $2,500. Or are you going to try to make it all the way to the end of the game for that 15 Gs tonight? What's it going to be, players? One player. One player has chosen to take the $2,500. Another HQ winner. Upper Minkle right there with the cute little ears. All right. Congrats to you. One 
player left. This is an incredible game right now. Q19, let's do it. Which is not an ingredient in the mixture that is lethal to tunes in Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Benzene, peroxide, acetone. Show them your love. There's one player left. Come on, guys. Good luck in the chat. If you went for acetone, you didn't ace this one. No manicures for the tunes, but they can bleach their hair blonde. Peroxide. Did you tap peroxide? Yes, you certainly did. Yes, you certainly, oh my good, I, my heart can't take it. Now, Judge Doom concocted a foul blend of three ingredients found in paint thinner. It's a tunes version of kryptonite. Ouch. Our one player still with us, trying to make it to the end, or at least to Q21, right? Here we go with Q20. In their official presidential portrait paintings which US president is sitting, George W. Bush, Teddy Roosevelt, Ronald Reagan. If you make it past this one, you'll get to the next prize question and major cash. If you tapped on Teddy, it's time to take several seats as the Teflon president is Ronald Reagan. My fingers are crossed so tightly for you right now. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's the end of the game. You tapped on Teddy Roosevelt and no winners in this portion of the game. Wow. That was pretty incredible though. Congrats to you. That was a wild ride. You ace to HQT's tons of winners tonight at various levels and lots of cash was scored. And round of applause to that one player who made it all the way to Q20. Good for you. You came, you played, you totally slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter. You can hit me on the socials right here. Okay, stop by, say hi, let me know what you thought of the game tonight. Did you win some cash? I hope so. The fun is not over yet. No HQ words, it's just minutes away. Don't miss it. My girl Anna up at 9.30. PM. It's bye from me for now. Have an epic night, everyone. And see you soon. Wow. Bye.